Premiers, Canada's emissions are rising and the Liberal carbon tax is making life unaffordable. On April the 1st, the NDP Liberals increased the carbon tax and across the country today, Canadians are paying way more at the pumps. Many Canadians who have been struggling to pay their bills throughout the cold and dark winter, who might have been planning a summer road trip, might not be able to afford it now. Speaker, let's listen to another expert. The former Conservative Prime Minister of UK, Boris Johnson, came to Canada to teach a Conservative Party a lesson about the dangers of climate change denial nonsense. He said voters continue to care deeply about the environment. They have want solutions that are going to be cost effective. Speaker, gas prices are the highest they've been in years. In my Ontario community, prices are as high as $1.80 a litre. Sadly, the Prime Minister gave no relief to Canadians and increased the carbon tax by 23 per cent. Worse, when the carbon tax quadruples, it will add 61 cents to the price of a litre of gas, as Canadians work twice as hard to take in half as much. I choose to listen to the people in my riding who are paying 20 cents more a litre because of the NDP Liberal carbon tax. An inconvenient truth for the Liberals is that the only time that emissions went down in Canada was under Prime Minister Stephen Harper's government. Tens of millions of Canadians agree. These are who the people we listen to. Why don't these NDP Liberals? Well, Speaker, the economists and the experts I listen to are the people in my riding paying $1.80 a litre for gasoline now. Yeah. The Prime Minister could reduce the price of a litre of gas by 20 cents right now by axing the carbon tax. Speaker, the Liberals have out-of-control spending and Canadians are broke. M rent, mortgages are doubling. If Madam Speaker, we agree, and both the PBO and over th 350 economists agree that the price, the carbon pricing, and the rebates will help 8 out of 10 Canadians better off. The Conservatives' only plan, Madam Speaker, is to let the planet burn their. It's important that we be clear. Under the previous Conservative government, ambitions were on the way up with no plan to bring them down. Right. We are on track to meet our 2026 targets. We are on track to meet the Paris targets. We are taking the action needed to reduce emissions. But more than that, if we're going to talk about affordability, let's talk about an economist from Calgary who said carbon pricing is definitely not to blame for affordability challenges. Again, I'm going to listen to the economists. They're not listening to economists from across this country. Last week it was about 200 economists, now it's over 300, it's about 350 economists have written to us an open letter saying specifically that most families receive more in rebates than they pay in carbon pricing. In other words, the policy is designed to ensure it does not raise the cost of living for most Canadians. And they say climate change, on the other hand, poses a real threat to Canadians' economic well-being. I'm going to listen to the economists. Remember